If there's one thing I know, it's that college football cannot come soon enough. But while we wait, we're going to bring in the head football coach of Florida State, Mike Norvell, to talk a little bit about his squad in the upcoming season. Coach, we appreciate your time. No, I'm definitely excited uh, to be able to be on with you guys. And, uh, you know, we all, we all have the itch. We're ready for football, right? Yeah, no, I think everybody is on edge. And, and this team, I think, that you have is, is one of the more intriguing because I'm not exactly sure that anybody in college football has come as far as you have in the last 18 months. First two years in Tallahassee, you're 8-13, and 13, then you rip off a 10-win season a year ago. How are you able to get the program back on this trajectory? Uh, you know, it's uh, it's been a, a very unique journey that we've had to be on. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of experiences. You know, our first year, you know, going through, uh, you know, COVID and you know, all the changes that have been around the program, um, you know, just trying to establish, establish uh, you know, some consistency, some continuity, uh, you know, be able to push a, a standard and expectation and, you know, really just de developing trust within, you know, players to coaches, uh, you know, the, the way that we work, the way that we operate. And I, I think you've seen that. Uh, really grown throughout our, uh, our entire program. And, you know, I love coaching this team. I love the way that they've responded, uh, you know, even this, this past season, uh, you know, to, to go and, you know, get our 25th 10 win season, you know, a lot of excitement building in and you know, the guys that have chosen to, to come back and to be a part of this, uh, this team and this year that's ahead. Coach, there's plenty of buzz surrounding your team, but specifically who's under center, your quarterback, Jordan Travis, who refers to you as a second dad. He says he's never had a relationship like this with a coach. So how would you just describe the relationship you've created with your quarterback? I mean, Jordan's a special young man. And, you know, we, we talk about developing trust. Well, that, that takes time. And, you know, I, I believe in Jordan. I believe in who he is, you know, what he what he stands for. You know, the, uh, you know, when you see the incredible player on the field, I mean, it's it's just, uh, you know, it's just a little part of, of who he is as a person. And, I mean, he's a great leader for our team. Uh, the way that he's worked, uh, I tell people, uh, you know, you, you go and you watch our, our spring practice this last you know, this last spring, and you know he might be one of the most improved players because of the work that he puts in, because of the way that he prepares. Um, you know, we've we've been able to develop you know trust in each other. You know, over these last few years, but uh, you know I just think the sky's the limit for him, and uh, you know he's a uh, he's a wonderful young man. I'm honored to be able to coach him. All right, Mike, taking a larger uh, scope at college football, there's been a lot of changes over the last couple of years or so. Your conference, the ACC, will have no divisions this year. So when you look at your schedule, does it put any added pressure on games to get to a title game? I mean, every game matters. And, you know, when you, when you take the divisional, you know, part out of it, you know, then, I mean, absolutely. I mean, it's a, everybody's competing for those top two spots. And, you know, you got to show up each week. And when you look at the ACC, I mean, the point differential, how close the games are. I mean, those are, I mean, it's a battle and you, you got to be prepared to, you know, each week to, to show up and be your best and continue to get better as the, as the year goes on. But uh, uh, I think it's going to be an exciting season. You know, we we're definitely, uh, you know, looking forward to, to that, uh, uh, you know, to that journey and, and the, the challenges that are ahead. But uh, you know, it's, it, it's definitely good to know that the top two are going to get an opportunity to compete, to play one more. All right, Coach, uh, you know, you don't start camp until August, but we're looking down the schedule, and in week four you have Clemson. Clemson's won seven in a row against you guys. Now, Michigan has a beat Ohio State period, and they just talked about installing a, a beat Georgia period. When I was playing at Ohio State, we talked about some of the, the marquee matchups. We always had a beat Michigan period in practice. Is there any extra emphasis or priority on this week four game? Well, I mean, you know, for us, it's uh, you know, each each week building that point is going to put you in a position to go be your best in that moment. And, you know, being at Florida State, I mean, we have some great rivalry games and we have so, you know, a lot of showcase games that we get to to take a part of, you know, from what we're uh, how we're open the season this year against LSU. Um, you know, obviously it's, uh, the two other in-state schools that we play and then, you know, you know, the. Clemson, it's been it's been the standard in the ACC for the last uh, for the last few years. And, you know, that was something that, uh, you know, when you look at the, the two programs, I mean, it's it's two great programs. And, uh, you know, that that's something that we are excited for an opportunity to compete. And, you know, we go, you know, go to them this year. And, uh, you know, it's uh, you know, it's one that we're we're definitely fired up for. But, you know, there's a lot of work that goes between now and then to, to make sure that we're going to be in the best position to play our best. Uh, you know, when we get to that 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 game in week four. 
Yeah, you're talking about your matchup against Clemson, a tough one, and you also touched on LSU. That's probably one of the most highly anticipated non-conference games, I would say, this fall, Coach. So, you know, how do those two early matchups in September really define the way you prepare uh, in camp? You know, it definitely adds a sense of urgency, uh, knowing that, you know, game one is going to be national broadcast, Sunday night football. I mean, it's, a, you know, probably two top ten teams going into the end of the year. And, you know, we played this game a, a year ago, and you know, there was a lot of unknowns. And, uh, you know, LSU ends up winning the West. You know, it's obviously did a, has done a great job, uh, you know, and another talented team that we're going to, you know, kick off a season with. But, uh, you know, it, it still is about us. And uh, a lot of that – you know, process of what we've done, you know, in, in growing our program and continuing to get better. It's, it has been that inward focus on controlling the things that we can control, but, uh, you know, there is a great deal of excitement for, for what we have ahead and to be able to, to kick off the, you know, the season and, and, you know, that type of matchup, you know, it's exciting for our fan base, exciting for our players. And, you know, we're all looking forward to, to being able to do that, uh, you know, their Sunday night in, in, in Orlando. All right, Mike, last thing for you before we let you go. Your mantra since you got to Tallahassee was trust the process. And on social, the team's hashtag is keep building. Going into the season with all the talent that you've added, with the excitement that you guys have for this year, do you feel like this is your, your time right now? You know, you know, we we talk about that climb, and uh, you know, as we we talk about to, to continue to climb to be the best that we can be. Everybody wants to get to the top, and and ultimately, that's what you know. That's what we desire, but it's, you know, each step along the way is a necessary step. And, you know, for our team, uh, you know, I think that, you know, we've taken some incredible strides. We've had some, we've had some missteps. We've had, you know, times where we've, where we've slipped down or we've got knocked down and, you know, but the, the way our guys respond, the way that they've continued to work, I mean, the, the, the young men we've been able to bring into the program, uh, you know, I think that uh, we got tremendous depth, we got tre tremendous com uh, you know competition, uh, you know, at all positions, and you know, I'm excited about this team. I'm excited for us to to be in the moment, to have to go execute and and just to be our best. But uh, you know, that that climb that uh, that we focus on, I mean, it's a, it's a daily it's a daily process, and uh, you know, I believe in the the work that these guys are 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 putting in to uh, to allow us to do great things, and so definitely looking forward to. All right, that is the head coach of Florida State, Mike Norvell, looking to continue that climb from that 10-win season a year ago. We really appreciate your time here on the rally. Well, I appreciate you guys having me on, and go Knowles.